Hello, welcome to your latest update from the Met Office. A bit more on the bank holiday weekend in just a moment. First of all, let's get through the rest of Friday. Sunny spells for most places, but there are a few showers breaking out through the afternoon, one or two of them on the heavy side. Big swirl of cloud across uh, parts of Norway. That's still bringing some cloud and rain to parts of northern Scotland, and cloud is edging in from the west as well. But between those two weather systems, as I said, most places dry and bright out there. But a few showers are breaking out over parts of the Midlands, East Wales and southern England, scattered, but in places they could be heavy. In the sunny spells, though, temperatures creeping up across the south into the high teens or the low 20s. Cooler further north, but still dry and bright for the most part. The main exception, the far north of Scotland, where that cloud will continue to bring some patchy rain into parts of northeast Scotland during the evening. The showers in the south should fade through the evening, so for most it's a dry night, but then here comes the clouds in the west. With clearer spells, we will see temperatures falling away. Quite a mild night in the south. Temperatures could stay in the teens in some towns and cities, but uh, chillier in Scotland, rural areas here well down into single figures. But a bright start, generally, with some sunshine over Scotland's northern and eastern parts of England. It's in Northern Ireland where there'll be that cloud spilling in, rain and drizzle trickling in as well, and things also turning damp across western parts of Scotland. We may again see one or two showers in the south, particularly the southeast, but again, they'll be very hit and miss. Much of England and Wales will be dry for most of Saturday, but that rain may well become pretty extensive across Scotland. The far north, though, may well see some sunny spells. And Northern Ireland probably drying up a little bit through the afternoon. Temperatures, well, quite a contrast. Again, north-south split, really. With some sunshine in the south, we could easily get temperatures over 20 Celsius, whereas further north with the cloud and rain, Western Isles there stuck at 9 or 10 Celsius. The outbreaks of rain will continue through Saturday evening over Scotland, perhaps at times affecting the far north of England too, but the south stays largely dry. But then another wadge of rain moves into Northern Ireland, southern Scotland. This is a bit heavier as well. Notice the brighter colours, and that will be spreading south during Sunday. So a wetter day for Northern England, parts of Wales, seeing some rain on Sunday as well, and increasing amounts of cloud further south and east. Again, Northern Ireland may brighten up but parts of Scotland may well stay fairly soggy. That's rain on Sundays from a cold front pushing south. Ahead of that, still some warmth across East Anglia in the southeast. Temperatures again maybe up to 20 degrees on Sunday, but cooler air is following on behind. And that cooler air then sweeps its way southwards for all areas on Bank Holiday Monday. And with low pressure and weather fronts across the north, Bank Holiday Monday promises quite a few showers here, which could be on the heavy side. It will be cooler and fresher for all, but in the south, there should still be some sunny spells. Overall, it's a pretty mixed picture through the bank holiday weekend. Make sure you stay up to date with the very latest by following the Met Office on social media.